Hello everyone, I'm Tony Monaco, Hammond organist and keyboardist. I'm honored to offer to you now live online lessons. We can take lessons one-on-one -on -one in real time and all you really need is a simple MIDI controller, a computer, and the ability to get on the internet. And with that and some software, we'll quickly be able to start lessons learning how to play the organ or piano or keyboard. And you don't even have to own an organ or a piano or a keyboard. All you really need is a simple MIDI controller, which are available very inexpensively. And with that, we can begin the journey of taking lessons and learning how to play. So get a hold of me at b3monaco.com and click on the online lessons link. And it has all the directions and the software that you'll need in order to do this. And soon you'll be able to connect with me. You'll be able to be linked to my calendar in order to schedule your lessons when you like. If you live in a foreign country and don't speak a language with your interpreter, we'll be able to take lessons. I'll work with you. We'll extend the time a little bit, make it work. So it doesn't matter. I really love to teach and I'm looking forward to finding you. And I hope you're brave enough to find me and do this. All you need is a simple MIDI controller. They're as cheap as $100. If you already own a computer and you have the internet connection, you're almost there with just a little bit of software. That's how easy you can get into this. And then of course, if you have a vintage organ or piano or a keyboard, then we'll be auditioning things that you do with that through the microphone and the webcam and through the modal and theoretic harmony and all that stuff through the internet with the software one-on-one -on -one, and it's really cool so these are real music lessons live one-on-one -on -one with me they're not tape recorded or pre-recorded things so we can be in real time answering your questions and moving forward with a plan that works best for you I really look forward to it remember b3monaco.com go on to the online lessons link follow the directions if you have any questions there'll be a place for you to get a hold of me all right see you on the other side Let's have some fun. Okay, I want to show you a couple of other alternatives of what you can use if you already have to connect to the uh, Internet MIDI uh, program and having online lessons with me. Let's say you have one of the new Digital B3s or uh, Digital B3 portables. The MIDI out that is on those keyboards is already MIDI merged to manuals and pedals. So if you own one of these with pedals, then we can do three manual work in essence, two manuals and pedals live on online and actually not even use the organs for their sound because the computer will be the sound for this application. Of course, for auditioning purposes, once again, if you already have a vintage Hammond organ, we'll just use a simple controller just to, di just to you know, pass along the data, you know, the harmony of the information, the theory, but then audition what you play from the organ by using Skype and the internet. We're going to be also able to see each other and hear each other in addition to the live, you know, MIDI information being transferred online in real time. So it's really cool as I play, you'll hear it and I hear it. As you play, you'll hear it and I hear it all in live. So actually we could get going you know together where i've done this already i might be playing bass and comp and you might be working on solo or you'll play some bass and comp and i might just solo just to give you some ideas and we can do that in real time that's really cool the other alternative is like i said before if you own something like an xk3 or xk3c but you already have the system with the pedals well you're set up right there as well because this has internal MIDI 1 and 2, which gives you the lower manual and upper manual, it acts as a MIDI merge. So if you're trying to stack two, computer, uh, two keyboards together, we'll need to use MIDI merge if the keyboards that you're using don't already have MIDI merge feature. And a lot of keyboards don't. It's the organ ones that do because they want you to be able to put a lower manual or pedals to them. And it doesn't matter which one becomes the upper and lower in that case for us, because remember, it's the computer that's playing the music. It's the computer that is the sound tone generator. It'll be the keyboard that is just the data transfer, and it'll be the connection live 
that allows us to do this. So it's just like being together and playing, and we'll figure out a way to work that out in terms of two manual work, should we go there or need to go there. And once again, remember, if you already have one of these keyboards, you've got everything you need. You just need a MIDI interface if you don't already have it. Go to my website, b3monaco.com, and go on to the online uh, MIDI lessons link, and I have a list of MIDI interfaces, MIDI merges, audio interfaces, should you have some audio difficulties in the computer not have sufficient audio. Most of the up-to-date computers do, and for the work that we're going to be doing, you're going to be okay. Because it's not the uh, speed at which we're going to be doing it at, it's the quality of the information that we're passing, and then you'll be playing your instrument. Should it be your instrument, then we'll worry about those things. Maybe you'll decide at some point you want a nice DAW software that has a really good sound engine capabilities to deal with latency. Great, then that makes things better because someday you may decide to take this two manual thing that you build, even using two controllers, or this, and your computer out and start playing actual live gigs. Or in your case, when you have one of these, you'll be taking these out and playing them on live gigs because these are your tone generators. But if you don't have a tone generator and you have a computer, your computer is your tone generator and you can actually take the stuff that you're going to be investing in, which is minor, very minor, and you can take it out and play gigs with it. So it's really cool, all right? So we're going to have some fun. Go to b3monaco.com, click on the online live lessons link, and let's get signed up. You'll find out a way to be linked to my calendar. You just need a Gmail account, and you'll have to have a Skype account. Those are all free. And the directions on what other software you need, uh, depending on what you already have. Minimally, you can get into it for about $70, plus a MIDI interface and controller if you don't already have one. If you have a controller and a MIDI interface, you can get in as low as 70 bucks for this software. It's out of my control. It's what we'll need to do the communication. This software called Internet MIDI transmits the MIDI live and allows us to do it in multiple channels and allows us to turn on and turn off microphone and visual features in Skype in real time so we can actually be like one-on-one -on -one live lessons and it uh, doesn't take too much to do. So hey, I'm looking forward to giving you a lesson. If you're interested, go to my website, find the directions, we'll get started, okay? Good luck in your uh, future decisions and if it's me that uh, crossed your paths, I'll give you my best, all right? God bless. Now, let's take a look at the software we're going to need in order to take these online lessons together. I'm pretty excited about this. When you go to my website, b3monaco.com, where it shows you the online lessons link, you'll click there, and it'll take you to the online lessons instructions. And you'll see that there are software needed for PC listed in your links, and there'll be software needed for your Mac and links. And then I go through different controllers that you could use that I suggest. Mind you, you don't have to have an organ to do this. If you have an organ, you'll only need one simple controller. Okay, here we go. I'll give you a list of different MIDI merges, audio interfaces, uh, keyboards that have MIDI merge and our organ keyboards if we want to do two manual work using one of those with a controller. And those uh, instructions follow this. Okay, so taking a look at the software af after you get into my link you'll start loading some of this software so let's go in and take a look at what we'll need first of all we'll need Skype Skype is a free software free download it's communication software it'll allow us with your webcam and microphone which you must have to communicate and Skype is also the software that Internet MIDI will communicate through alright so once you get to Skype sign up get an account mine is called B3 Monaco Okay, so when you'll find B3 Monaco, that's how we'll hook up. Then you'll need Internet MIDI. Internet MIDI is $69. You go to timewarptech.com and download it. Basically, it will be the transmission software. As you can see this keyboard down here, you'll change colors. When I play, you'll see one color. You can make it red or blue. And when you play, I'll see a different color. And so therefore, we'll both be able to see what each other's doing. Uh, you'll need this software. It is $69.
However, the Classroom Maestro, which is an add-on, is the staff page here, okay? And it is also $69. I highly suggest this. This software add-on will allow you to take a look at voicings, bass notes, chord changes, all kinds of things, okay? So this is the Internet MIDI, not mandatory, the Classroom Maestro, although I highly suggest. If you have a PC, you'll need to download this program called Loop B. Loop B is basically a MIDI router. It's going to take the output from Internet MIDI and send it down somewhere else so that we can play an organ module, not the internal sounds. The Macintosh will do that automatically. This is a free download for the PC users. You'll go to download page all the way at the bottom, Loop B. Okay, now you'll need the organ software, but before we could do the organ software, you need to have a way to play it. Now, if you already own something like Sonar or Cubase or Pro Tools, and it has the ability to play VST synths, both on a Mac or a PC, or if you have a Macintosh with EVB3, we could use that software. We could use Native Instruments B4 too. I'm going to give you one that I suggest now uh, called VB3 due to the fact that Native Instruments B42 is not sold as a single unit any longer. So the software I'm going to suggest if you do not have an organ software synthesizer is called VB3. But you'll need a player. So if you don't have, you know, uh, recording sequencing software, these, this is a free player called Savvy Host. And when you go to Savvy Host, you'll scroll down and make sure you load it, download it where it says you can download here. Do not load VST Host. It's another one. It works as well, but it's a lot more complicated. So make sure you're on the Savvy Host page and you go down and you download it right there where it says you can download here. And let's see. The next piece of software would be for Macintosh users. If you don't have Pro Tools or uh, an equivalent sequencer recorder software, you'll be going here and see where it says Host X UB. It's a VST host. It, in a Macintosh, will do the same as the Savvy host will in the PC. Notice that the only difference here would be that the PC owners need to route through Loopy that Macintosh have automatically does. If you're in a PC, you'll be using the Savvy Host. If you're in a Mac, you'll be using the UB Host. Okay? Now, organ software. This, These two programs, whether you're in a Mac or PC, is going to play this. This is the VB3. It's an organ module, tone wheel organ. So basically, has the ability to play pedals, lower manual, upper manual. Now, we only need one keyboard to start lessons. But as you go, this will allow us to go into two manuals and even pedals. It'll be working through your host player or sequencer software. That's all you need in terms of software. 